guys, this is True Vine, Prophetess Catherine. I'm here with another prophetic word that I believe I have received from the Lord this morning. And the word is essence. The Lord said essence this morning. So the essence of God's is the essence of God's grace. The scripture, the word of God, is the breathing out of God. God's speaking is God's breathing out. His word is spirit. John verse 6, 63. Or a breath. The scripture is the expression of God as spirit. The spirit is therefore the very essence, the substance of the scripture, of the Holy Bible, the word of God. John verse 6, 63 says, It is the spirit who gives life. The flesh profits nothing. The words which I have spoken to you are spirit and are life. It's not the black and white letters of the Bible that give life, but the spirit who is the essence of those words. Once we know this, will come to the Bible not simply to learn something new, but to touch the spirit, the life-giving essence of God in the word. The Bible gives us life. John verse 10, 10 tells us God desires that we have his life, and may have it abundantly. So the most important things for us to get from the Bible, more important than any doctrines, teachings, or stories, is God's life. God's breath, his spirit, gives life. Good teachings can't give us life. Ethics can't give us life. Only the Spirit can give us life. And this Spirit is the essence of the Bible, the Word of God. If we see that the Spirit is the essence of the Bible, we'll change our approach. We'll come to the Spirit of God's Word and the Spirit will give us life. This life will refresh us, feed us, and cause us to grow in Christ. Eat the Word of God for breakfast. Eat the Word. Feed the soul. Now we will have a look at verse Exodus 4.10. Then Moses said to the Lord, O oh my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither before nor since you have spoken to your servant, but I am slow of speech and slow of tongue. Exodus verse 14 God will never ask you to do what you are capable of doing. I repeat, God will never ask you to do what you are capable of doing or what you know how to do. So, what does that mean? Right? Why God would ask someone to accomplish something if he or she doesn't have ability to do it. It is just what is known here in terms of what is necessarily in the real world that we live in today. 
You acquired a talent, after which you then apply it to a job. Correct? You learn, you train, you work. That's just the worldly way of accomplishing something that we have been taught. Steps to being successful, to accomplishing your goal. Correct? So, some time ago, the Holy Spirit gave me a message titled The Equipping Grace. The foundation of that message was that the grace of God equips us, the children of God, to do the work assigned to us. Today's message is add up to that message. The burning question is, why do we need the grace of God as human? Oh, we do need it. So as easy as it may seem, it is quite a difficult question to answer. The grace of God is needed to cover our own limitations. What we cannot do, the grace of God is there to help us do them. And even the one we think we can do, the grace of God help us to do it even better. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's grace. If we do not have physical limitations, we can never understand and appreciate the essence of God's grace. In our verse for today, Moses spoke to God about his inability to speak, which he believed made him unworthy to be delivered of God's people. But the su sufficiency of the grace of God brought the people out of Egypt by Moses, who homes work for God. The stammerer being the spearhead, also we should not forget that Paul was not an eloquent speaker, yet he preached the gospel wherever he went and held and won debates. This is, um, oh, Praise the Lord. I'm feeling the Holy Spirit right now. The grace of God makes us realize that we must solely depend on God to achieve results. God's grace equips us to do the things we never imagined we could do. Or we can never do on our own, no matter how much we humanly try. So if you are still con con contemplating whether that call to do the work of God is from God, overlook your limitation and focus on the grace of God. When we could not deliver ourselves from the power of sin, no matter how many animals we sacrifice, God sent his son Jesus Christ clothed and adorned with grace and mercy. In our weakness, his grace is made sufficient for us. That is the essence of God's grace. Grace equips, empowers, and makes man do the impossible. You may be limited, but God's grace is complete. Let us thank God for his word today. Also, let us take time and reflect on the grace of God and praise God for his amazing grace that covers all our weaknesses and make perfect our ability. Hallelujah. Wow. This word speaks. Guys, I would like to speak a little bit, okay? This is young ministry, the true vine ministry. Now, a month ago, the Lord had asked me to preach. To begin with, I said to the Lord, Lord, I cannot preach. Please do not make me preach. You know, because the Lord had called me into this prophet office 
three months ago and I was in the process of just shock. My world was changing, you know, from the ordinary consoling people for career. You know, I was a hairstylist and suddenly the Lord had called me into the ministry. And I was like, oh, my God, dear Lord, I know I can talk, but I cannot preach because I have no, no skills, no knowledge at all. I haven't been trained. But guess what? This is it. This is what God grace and God essence is, right? I'm thankful for my Holy Spirit. Without him, I would have not been trained. I would have not been equipped to do this work in this young ministries. And um, yes, it just speak. It's just the word come alive in my heart right now. And I like every, I like to thanking everyone, you know, to um, following the Lord works and listening to Him. Because, guys, I am nothing. I'm not capable of doing anything like this. Trust me, this is all Holy Spirit work. And it's, you know, it is all Him. Glory to God. Glory to the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, for real, in full. Hallelujah. Thank you for listening, and um, you have a lovely night or day. Shalom. I'll talk to you again. Love you.